Welcome back, guys. The first platform we're going to look at is the BBB. Some of you guys like it, some of you guys don't. Everybody, look, everybody wants an A-plus rating. Sure. And none of these guys like it when they get that one complaint for the nail in the backyard, which is out of their control. <laughs> it sure. drives the rating down. And some guys watching us think the BBP is kind of a crock, which it could be. But how do we use it to the positive benefit to maybe get more leads and increase our sales? So what we do is like we have a couple of things uh, in the company that I teach my guys. So everybody who has Gmail, we ask them to re review us on the Google Direct. Everybody with every other email, like if you have Comcast.net, Yahoo, whatever, you, we're gonna send you to BBB. The reason why? Because if you have Yahoo email and I give you uh, and I ask you to review me on Google, you're probably not gonna do it because Google gonna ask you to join Google first. So even if you ask, your chances to get it's actually really small. So what I do, everybody not Gmail accounts, I send them to BBB. That's my secret there, how I choose who gets what invite. So we invite them very personally, uh, usually after work is done, my sales guys do that. I have uh, email scripts that I've been uh, split testing for a long time. So one of them, when you send email, you have to, just like in everything in marketing, you have to have really clear call to action. So you got all these, I guess you got all these reviews. Now I know it looks good if I come here and see this. But is there so, something else we can do at the BBB to monetize? So you can videos? pay BBB direct, and I know, like, I have testimonials from a lot of guys, like from Texas. So above and beyond your annual, like, five hundred dollars. It depends on the market. So Dimitri, what you're telling me that when, when I see those three top ads right there, yep, these three companies are paying top exactly. dollar in exactly. Minneapolis to exactly. be in the top three above and beyond even the regular ad platform. Absolutely, but here's the deal. As, as a smart consumer, you're gonna come there, you're gonna look at their reviews. So Excella, $50 million company, they have 114 positive reviews, they have four negative reviews, and so on. Now, you, you know, they have complaints. And a company that size is bound to have a few complaints. Yep. But, but then if you see three companies there, now you look at the Storm Group and we have 36 positive, no complaints. So now, like it's all start coming together, right? So right. there's a few more things about BBB here. But so it's then, funny because a consumer going on there, isn't going to know necessarily that sell is paying to be in that top three. So they're going to probably gravitate a lot of times to those top three positions. Any idea what they're paying for those top three ad positions on an annual basis? Five, six thousand a year. Depends, Five, six thousand a year. Depends on the market. Yep. Okay. But another cool thing is you can plug in your Facebook. You can, uh, you know, you can do your, like, for example, your Twitter. So in here it goes tweets by Storm Group. You can see comments from a customer in Twin Rapids. Wow, that's a, is that a new feature? They, yeah. they used to have that in BBB. Y ago. Yep, so you know that's why you have a Twitter, you have a Facebook now, almost on all platforms. You so have the customer the, can jump right to your tweets or jump right to your Facebook exactly. from the BBB. And if you keep updating, like I like to tweet all my customer uh, online reviews. So if somebody review me on Gil Quality, I'm gonna tweet about it. Now you come to BBB, actually shows in the feed like whether you tweeted about your job, whether you tweeted right. about your uh, recent review, now it all comes together. So you all, a personal connection too. Yep. Also, uh, another thing is, I, and I, I'm trying to teach guys all the time about it, it's like you click here over review, you always have pictures and videos. And I recommend you... Uh, you so have, you can load videos and pictures there, there, onto there, your There's profile. a little bit science like in, in marketing and uh, pretty much any marketing is a storytelling. You wanna tell story, attention span is really small right now. I think it's like five seconds. So if you come to any profile, don't publish there. See, like I have my video, which is like YouTube video. Um, you can upload your company story. But the thing is, what kind of pictures you upload? I see a lot of roofers will do, you know, like some selfies on the roof and stuff like mm -hmm. that. There's a uh, four major types that I highly recommend. It's number one, you have to show off your brand, like your branding vehicles is a must. So you, you so this, fall, this all falls a killer profile. Yep, so you have your uh, jobs in progress, you have your yard signs, you have to have your office, your team, those kind of pictures. And, and you get uh, email or, and text message every time somebody comes. Another thing too is people will check BBB even if they Google you. So let's say they, they drive down the road and they see your truck or yard sign, mm -hmm. they will come home and they will uh, Google you. Especially in roofing. Exactly. Yeah. There's a few must follow religious uh, practices that you have to do to win on BBB. One, you have to generate positive reviews because if, especially if you grow, sooner or later you will get a complaint. So you got to so, get those customers to generate. Uh, absolutely. You got to be proactive in that. You got to get your customers so sending in those reviews. Think, think about this. If I have 36 positive reviews right now, what's going to happen if I have one or two negative? So Dimitri, I, and I know you don't have any negative reviews yet. 
But when you get that negative, you know, I've seen companies that go, hey man, I got a C rating, I got a D rating. How did they get there? It's probably because they didn't. Re they probably didn't reply to the complaints, correct? Yep. And then more importantly, for the guys that hit those Bs and Cs, sometimes Ds, how do they move back into the A quickly? Sure. Is there a quick way? Well, you have to you have to work with the BBB Direct. They will usually tell you uh, the best practice is reply to complaint. So oh, the you, customers. Yep. Usually yep. people want something, so uh, a lot of times it's just money back. So let's say you didn't finish the job or the job took you too long, and people are not gonna complain until, unless they really wanna fight you. So like if there's like somebody takes you to court. If, and you have judgment against them, just send it. Like, if you're right, you have nothing to worry about. You can send to the BBB, hey, they sue us or we sue them. Because people complain about anybody. anybody. So if somebody didn't want to pay their bill, exactly. they could threaten you with a bad Yelp or bad BBB. Exactly. And that, and that probably happens. And it's somewhere. terroristic, yeah. and BBB knows it, and it's uh, like, they, they can't do it. So they you probably can't. want to have a good relationship with that BBB, that local Absolutely. BBB person. But the thing is, if you, you, uh, BBB allows you to reply to complaint, just like you right. like you reply to review, and also if you go direct, like what I would recommend, what I do in my business, and here's my secret why I don't have complaints, because I write a lot of checks back. For me, it's easier, like let's say we didn't finish something, or maybe a few nails on the ground and ended up with right. a, a flat tire. Come back, give them $300, write them a check, they're gonna be happy and that's gonna avoid uh, complaint later. But if you already got a complaint, say, hey, what do you really want? Ask your client, what do they want? Usually it's gonna be a number. And sometimes you'll be surprised. Sometimes I'll go like, what does customer want? Do they want like five grand? So you ask them direct <laughs> questions they're like, $200. All right, I'll put check in the mail. And boom, sometimes that $200 check back will remove a complaint. Right. And BBB will also rep report back and say, this complaint has been resolved. But ignoring it will never help. So you have to deal with it. Down. Man, Dimitri, that's a lot of great info. That's a, I was on BBB for 15 years. Now, there's been some changes. Absolutely. So a couple things I learned right now is that, look, we want to get our customers sent in as many positive reviews as possible. Of course. Um, we want to get those, and this is new, but you get those nice pictures loaded. Videos. Uh, we want to get some videos in there, some video content. I didn't even know that existed on the platform. Sure. And most importantly for the guys, you know, the guys that want to monetize this, there are some upgraded features that can get them to the top of the BBB search engines. I didn't even know that either. Yep. You can pay them just like you pay any other platform to feature your profile. And you're, the rest and you're of sitting them. proof. You're saying you got yep. what, 22 leads in one month from that service, yep. correct? Okay. Absolutely. What, what else did I miss? There was one more. So number four, I would say, uh, I know some of you guys hate Twitter. I would highly recommend create killer Twitter profile. You wanna tweet your pictures, your reviews, you wanna share a few good things there, don't be nasty, only positive stories about your business because BBB also gonna, uh, you can connect your Twitter account and it's also become like a feed so people will see uh, what you're posting there so it also tells the story about your brand. Which I can see here, you got a pretty active Twitter, Twitter yep. uh, connected with your BBB. Yep. So you got, it's like a little social media platform in itself. Exactly. So, and then make sure you reply to your reviews as well so people see that you can actually connect. Especially the complaints, guys. You gotta reply to them, otherwise your rating goes down. All right, guys, in the next chapter, we're gonna explore Angie's List and see how we can monetize some leads off that platform. See you soon.